against the wall by senior grubbies that always seems to change, then this next story may give you a little more information as to who's behind the art in Carlsbad. Jillian Jordan reports. A cool leather jacket that I got in a thrift store in Germany, and I quit business school. This was the point of no return for Brian Snyder. After backpacking through Europe for six weeks, he returned his accounting textbook and picked up a spray can. For me, street art is putting creative ideas in the streets with the objective of introducing a positive visual in a local community. Now people are starting to understand the positive effects of street art on a community, but when I first started, people didn't know the definition. They just thought it was vandalism. As his artwork becomes more popular in the village, people have stopped seeing street art as vandalism and instead stood back and appreciated it. There's nothing more special than walking down the street and seeing a kid, elderly, a family stopping, stopped in their tracks and looking up at a mural and taking photos, talking about it. Every day, Brian's one-year-old Henry reminds him how big of an impact art has on someone's life. My son Henry's favorite thing because he loves rolling cans. So we take the caps off and let him play with it. I think he likes the noise too. So this is kind of his zone right here. He also will take pastels. This is his artboard where every day he gets a new color and he gets to draw. For now, Henry's canvas is cardboard, but one day he may be painting on the Carlsbad art wall. No matter how much the community likes the piece, every two months it's going to be repainted. Each time the wall is repainted, locals are able to watch a professional artist create a new piece. And after this first wave of professional LA-based artists are finished, then I'm going to open up the wall to all artists of all locations and all skill levels. Reporting for CHS-TV, I'm Jillian Jordan. Hi Carlsbad, I'm Sophie Molinar and I'm here with CHS graduate Brian Snyder. So Brian, something that we didn't really cover that much in the story was that you actually created a, more like a new type of art. Yeah, I call it drip painting and what I do is I actually drip paint directly on canvas through stencil. My brush never touches the canvas, but because I use the hard edge of the stencil, I'm able to build up portraits, landscapes, uh, any type of image. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a fun way to paint and as far as I researched, no one's created art in this way, so it's you know it's it's exciting to do something something new. Wow, that's actually really fantastic that you're able to combine two different elements and create your own type of art. And then something that we did touch on in this story was your project, the Carlsbad Art Wall. I understand that you had something going on with that. Yeah, the Carlsbad Art Wall is on the east facing wall of Senior Grubbies in the Carlsbad Village. And every two months, I bring in a new artist from LA to paint, and it's all about bringing in new art, exposing the community to. You know, new techniques and creating a, a learning experience and uh, it's really exciting. I'd, I'd like to announce that on November 7th the next artist will be visiting Carlsbad. He goes by the artist named Mad Man. He has a comic book uh, technique, very colorful, a lot of action and uh, one of the most talented artists in LA right now. And so if someone wanted to get their art shown in Carlsbad besides getting to learn these awesome techniques November 7th, uh, how else could they do that? Well, they should go to carlsbadcrawl.com, and through there you can apply, uh, or you can contact me directly, uh, schedule a visit to my studio, and kind of get the ideas going, and um, I'm here to help anyone, any skill level, uh, just uh, get the ball rolling, and the, the, the wall will be available. Alright, and so they can go to Carlsbad Crawl, you said, right? Carlsbadcrawl.com. Okay, that sounds awesome. And I know that you had something that you wanted to give to CHS TV? Yes. Yeah, so I... Uh, I'm a graduate of Carlsbad High. I had Mr. Green, and uh, I really appreciate you guys bringing me in. So I wanted to give you guys a personalized doodle. Uh, it's a little re reporter doodle that I uh, that I drew for you guys. So um, thank you so much. Thank this you. Is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. This is really really cool. And then this is actually the one that you drew um, behind Stetsy's as well, right? Or the yeah. similar style. I've drawn this character all around Carlsbad, all, all around the world actually. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for coming on. And so we're gonna send it back to our anchor. Thanks, Brian. I love the little doodle. Attention to all who are interested in the Literacy Club. There will be a meeting today in room